Hey guys. Okay, so really quickly, I wanna let you in on a really cool corner of my office. Now this corner is full of people. It might not look like it, but it is. This poster right here is from the National Youth Gathering this past summer. This represents over 25,000 um, Christians, LCMS teens that were gathered together and their leaders, and then more presenters, volunteers, etc. This is the backpack that we wore around the streets of New Orleans. Again, this represents not just the Christian church here on earth, this represents those that we are told to go and make disciples of. This also is full of people, adds to my corner. This is from the National Youth Gathering that I went to. Again, 25,000 totally different people than this one. Well, maybe a few overlap, but 25,000 different people than this one that we were um, also going and, and worshiping with and, and studying God's word with in our Christian church, in the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. And then this bag walked around the streets of uh, Georgia, of Atlanta, Georgia. And so that there's another group of people that this bag represents. Now this, this is a preview of what our VBS will be this coming summer. This right here represents 200 plus of our kids that will be here on campus and our neighbors and maybe some children who have never heard the good news of Jesus before. So that's what this one represents and all of our wonderful volunteers and everything else. So I'm already thinking about all of you. And this right here, every single Friday, I make a poster for our school children to draw a face on. If they're having a good day, it's a smiley face. If they're having a mm day, it's a straight line face. If they're having a sad day, man, don't we have those? It's a sad face. And then there's also little Z's on there for those that are feeling a little bit tired that day. So this is covered in our, in our Trinity children that go to school here. So this corner, well, it might look like there's just one, there are so many people in this corner that I pray for and that I think about and that are on my mind. Then I put this camera facing me and I'm looking at all of you and that just adds even more people to this corner. And I praise God for the opportunity to experience all of these things and to study his word with you. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we are on um, Thursday, the second week of Advent. The gift of love is our overarching theme for this week. And the, the title of today's devotion is A Heart of Compassion. The verse we're going to read is Isaiah 54, 7 and 8. And it says, With great compassion I will gather you. With everlasting love I will have compassion on you. Compassion means literally suffering with another. Jesus, seeing the crowds, had compassion on them because he could see that they were like sheep without a shepherd. Jesus would reach out and heal others because of his deep compassion. Jesus would have compassion on the multitudes who were hungry and needed, to, and needed bread to eat, and in his compassion, he fed them. Jesus, in his great compassion, gave his life for the sake of the world. He gathered his flock together under his compassionate arms. Compassion was at the heart of our Lord who came down from heaven for us. He came to suffer with us. This compassion is rooted in the gift of love that God brings, an everlasting love that will share our weak and mortal state until we are all made whole. God does not fear this suffering God embraces it with the very birth of our Lord. Sing of this King who suffers with us for our good and for the good of the whole world. Okay, let's sing. Instead of soft and silk and stuff, you have but hay and straw so rough on which as king so rich and great to be enthroned in royal state. Let's pray. Compassionate Lord, you have made our hurts and our weaknesses your own. Through your suffering with us, you have gathered us together in love. Help us to be people of compassion for others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.